info darts as well throws one out himself not sure if they were able to get oh. much from it but we're gonna see oh. some trades start to broil out towards yeah, mid here it was into the favor of phase initially but could start to change here as we've got a big stack of envy players in the neighborhood well things are getting scary here yeah gonna swing out but a misread as raucous has worked his way into the mid cubby he'll take down two more envy members as it all comes down to crashies very very low hp in a one versus four and overall just a very quick solution here for phase it's the mid aggression from envy that's in here both teams at near full block capacity obviously some sacrifices being made for phase they'll be on a bit of a yeah, very, very damaging, and Zachary now in a oh, lackluster position after he gets read out. It was so very solid. Now as they have their KJ push forward towards Grot. KJ with the point of contact, but Victor already knows that someone's more than likely in the area, and he's correct to assume so. It's Envy now with a full take on the C. Left. The rest of FaZe working their way out here quickly to try and fend off the aggression. Oh, it might no. just be enough. Baby Bay and Corey combined for three kills between the two of them. Suddenly, it's all on FNS in the one versus two. He finds the first, though. Corey goes down, but he has no idea exposed here. So, yes, while well, there is resistance coming in in the form of utility and a whole lot of that banana swarm oh, no. all over the place. Yay! That's what I was talking about with the knives. An uncharacteristic miss opens up an opportunity for FaZe to start dragging back. They're going to do it here. Here, baby J so far the only one that's been lost full sight control is back under phases control here they've got the spike to the halfway point Marv with a great double for himself but now everything falls to crashies in the 1v2 here raucous taps it doesn't full commit they know crashies is here and finally they force him into the open they find the kill and phase secures the fifth Incredible. Initial bit of aggression from Envy is not going to allow them out into the open. Ye falls back. Victor watches the flight. And he's going to watch a whole lot more here in a moment. Gets one for himself, but it's too heavy of a push. Rockus immediately trades it. We go down into a 4v4. And Gately counters that and any of the pressure that would have come along with it. After that kill, though, you see Envy slowly lurking back over towards A, but they've allowed Zachary and other members to establish forward presence again. Zachary gets away with that kill. No trade in sight so far, but with the tags coming in, something Envy can work towards here. Oh. Yet yeah, no! Marv sneaks out into a shock dart as well as a whole bunch of bullets here. You're still Offender spawn going towards C right now, but babe, uh, excuse me, FNS will be planting inside of B, the back of B for that matter as well, so we'll have to at least be worrying about the C split side. He's going to play garage window as of right now, but as we can see on the minimap, Baby J's rounding this. FNS now holding on towards the door as well. Does Baby J clear this? Going in through spawn, at least checking things out. Oh, this is so very precarious for both of them. Gun out now. Who wins it? It's FNS with the angle first. It's given, and you can see a couple of times from phase kind of rotate back into They just did not have the positional awareness needed to play into that. And the same situation likely going to occur at the beginning of this round here, too. Another member of phase falling early on. Baby Bay trying to hop around, but at the same time, trying to dodge out the Hunter's Fury. Can't successfully do that. He goes down to crash. This is all envy right now. Is Baby J. Rock is more than likely going to read him soon enough but no the cloud burst to hide his position for now marv with a beautiful kill on to baby bay and the previous phase member just continuing to take it to all of phase baby j falls as well as envy have full control of this round thus far but finally zachary fires back fns with some solid positioning doesn't even get the frag it's gonna be victor on both of those and now it's just down to Corey to make some magic happen in this one versus four Trying to swing out here. A good start there is he's going to dismiss himself away, but the problem is not really much else he can do now that he's been revealed. We're going to see here. Still trying to line up the capability to make plays. I mean, hey, you can get some frags. You can damage the economy. That's one thing you can do. He's definitely about defusing the spike. I can tell you that much. But uh, at minimum, he's going to be able to drop quite a few players here. He actually gets one more, although obviously not through a direct fault. Of his, but there is a three-player stack. We are going to see the Cosmic Divide come out from Envy here to hopefully give them that extra distance they need. Yay! On the second run with the Blade Storm now finds success. He takes out Baby Bay, who also had his prime and ready to go. We'll control Hell in the process, fending off anybody that might try to sneak past the Divide and down into the safety of that corner. All the meanwhile, Envy put the spike down onto the ground and set up their own post points. Envy are just looking so clean. It looks like an entirely different squad up against FaZe right now as they're finally able to get these things working. And while well, FaZe currently being boxed out towards their own spawn, Seekers out. Yay with a beautiful shot onto Baby J. Also onto Zachary. Can he get the last he can? And John, he's... Ends, but it's up to FaZe to try and make the adjustment. 
As well, he's been backed off here, and Ye getting aggressive. Baby Bay not prepared for it, but Baby J is. He'll at least be able to get the refrag, but pretty lack luster health going into this post plant now, only 14 HP. It's a 4v4 in between these two, and Marv, as well as the rest of Envy, have extremely solid control. It's going to be a plant right in the middle of sight, just manned by Marv. The rest of the utility out towards the actual mid area of the map, and I believe some lineups set up currently for Crashies all the way in spawn. You can see him set up for those shock darts, so it's going to be difficult for FaZe to try and work this out. Marv with one, Marv with two. Can he get the third? He can't, but That's now on to Corey. Baby J gets taken out from Garage as he'll swing through, and Corey will go down as well. They don't even need the shock darts to round this out. Sit back and wait on the time if you know it. It'll be smart to do this too, because Baby J and Corey about to walk right out into FNS's position. FNS not oh. entirely ready for that, and at the same time, now Rock is going to deploy out with the Hunter's Fury as well. He's able to get some damage going, but no kills oh, secure. No. In fact, it's all from the other side. Crashies gets himself a double. Zachary, now hiding in the corner, might be able to start to work some trades for himself, but no! Every opportunity for FaZe is just getting denied here. Victor shuts down what was hopefully going to be the turning point in that round for FaZe. Instead, it's the death knell. Point up towards heaven as they're going to take no control over the top of A. It's going to be difficult for them to try and rotate out now. This is beautiful from FaZe here. They know a lot of the members are in this area. Can he get another? He can indeed. Impressive stuff from FaZe to take Take over Link. They just thought so far ahead here inside of this initial round. But now it's down to Ye to try and make this matter. He's got the Sheriff, but very low on bullets. He'll miss all of his shots. And now Marv inside of a 1v1 up against Rockus. They're rounding off. Rockus ends up winning the engagement at that one. But then they fight back from their long take instead. And what an incredible one it was. We see Envy try to prioritize taking control of short. And it just does not work out for them. Team Envy off to a good start oh. here. Ooh. Yay, with a good tap as well, but just as good of a response from Corey. Keeps us even at a 4v4. Faye's going to follow that up with some quick movements to take control of the upper mid area. Rockus <laughs> more than likely rotating out of C. And oh man, you can see how close the KJs are on the map right now. He's going to be able to p at least pick up FNS, and that's going to be a rifle for him as well as they swing things back towards C. You can see on the minimap as well that Envy had already swung so many of their members towards the left. A site, and now this is going to be a free take here for FaZe as they'll be able to at least get the spike down before anyone gets close enough to do anything about it. He's worked their way up. Plant should be going down in just a moment here for Envy. They'll also be close behind on the rotate by being down a player here outside of the C site oh. as well. Such a tough ass. Crash is walking up though. He's going to be able to catch Rock. It's a second one. Oh. Now a third coming in from Crash. He's in Victor. Has already secured the fourth. What a retake. Going to resist the take on the inside of Garage, but we are going to see the Nova Pulse spot to try and slow them down. FNS as well commits down C main, but can only translate a one for one exchange. Corey actually almost getting caught mid use what? of his Empress, but some assistance coming in from Baby J shuts that down. Victor as well, the last hope alive for Envy, but it does not pan out. Corey gets the... They're looking to swing this, but some fantastic movement right now. Just really working the timing for Marv. Not able to get the damage off like he wants to, though. Now it's Ye with the... Oh, no! The Bladestorm instead! Going not going with the shotgun. Instead, it's a one versus three. Zachary takes down quite a few members here, and well, this just all of a sudden became a clown fiesta. Down to one knife. He'll be able to trade it out make that too. Baby J swings out and yet a counteractive blade storm from the other side so Baby Bay has the freedom to sweep right in and take B site control. However, as more of them start to work their way in, it's Crashies that gets the first kill on this round. The other way around. Ooh. Oh man, that was so beautiful. Envy abusing both sides of this, holding onto the lanes and making it so difficult for FaZe to get anything done. They, pri are, they prioritize play for the retake here and you can't exactly blame them. Yeah, you're looking for the possibility to poke out from this. Oh! He's going to find it. Unbelievable shot against Corey there. Shock darts going down against the planter too. Might find the kill, but no, that second bounce just a little bit off. The Aldrone trying to work his way out, but it's immediately denied. However, Ye can still find usage. Oh my goodness, Ye! Three kills now coming out from the op. Rockus and Baby J, though, able to respond in their own regard here. But are they expecting the back flight? No, they're not. Rockus suddenly has to turn tail. He's been sandwiched here. And whether he realizes it or not, they're already halfway to a defuse. Halfway on it indeed now as they reach that pivotal point in FNS. We're going to be getting into this next round, but that aggressive Nebula play inside the last one is the one that ended up starting off Envy's round. And oh, it's going to be yet again here, but not from the likes of the op. Instead, it's going to be a 2K for them traded out for a singular member of their own in the likes of Ye.
little chaotic right now, so Seekers do go out, so Envy can really get a good lock on where the three remaining players are going to be, and they'll even throw out the info dart to try and secure that inkling in their mind here. Maybe Jay, though, moving up through Garage, and he'll have the support behind him. He's gonna check that extremity, and they indeed do! Oh, oh no! Kill going out against Marv, nearly catching FNS outright, but even he this time, able to translate the one-for-one -one exchange here. Raucus is now going to be alone. See here, a lot of that kill utility on the ground, but you would have needed to keep oh. FNS alive to use it. Raucus with one, does he have the pre-fire for the second? Oh. And indeed he does! Raucus! Coming out of nowhere with a clutch here for Fade. Right now, it's just been very, very difficult for them. But they're staying alive, all except for Zachary inside of round 22. As Ye tries to go wide with the Blade Storm. Not too much damage dealt, but he goes for the fly here. Raucus, though, will still be able to... You've got a 2-2 split of enemy players on either side, coming from either side, ready to retake this already here. And that's a good start from Victor as he eliminates Baby J. Gonna put the additional pressure onto the window here in just a moment. Oh, there's a fake bird out there. Victor tries to abuse it to get aggressive, but doesn't work out for him there. Corey, the back of sight, now able to take down one. Can't follow through with the second, only had a singular bullet inside of that phantom remaining. And now it's just down to Baby Bay. Only having the Vandal as well. Pretty solid positioning. Scores, able to see the first one, but Marv, he gets off the spike! Does not need an extra gun here. In, he's going to go with the rest of FaZe following close behind. It's all aggression now for FaZe Clan to try and get them another round. Well, when in doubt, frag it out as it starts off, but instead that's going to be from the Envy camp. They actually have a pretty solid clear here. They go all the way through Garage Window and try and, uh, and interject themselves into the back of C, but Marv prepared for that. Tries to read out Zachary coming in through Garage, but Zachary better in this situation. Rock is moving forward as well. Could possibly get a kill on FNS, and he will. That'll be another rifle down that they could possibly pick up. Baby J, oh no, he runs out of ammo in the Spectre, or I believe he thought that he was dead, but no, Victor still on 20 HP. Obviously, Sky not able to heal herself, only her teammates, so won't have access to regrowth in this situation. Phase though, still inside of the 2v3. Now make it a 2v2. Zachary making things so very difficult on the back end of C as Jay tries to move out. Oh, yeah. Dashes across. Does he have the pistol kill? No, it's Raucous instead as Crashies is in the 1v2 to try and clutch things up. Shock bolts out as well as a gravity well to pull him back. Raucous so much damage, but now Crashies able to actually get the frag. Such an incredible play so far for him as he's holding things down on the site, going into the 1v1. But Zachary seems like he finally reached the ultimate form of phase aggression. Ultra instinct right now for them as they're trying to take down Envy, what? but Yay with such an incredible play. He immediately pushes up mid. He'll take down two inside of A lobby, and it makes it so difficult now for FaZe as they've already lost three members. Baby Bay trying to double down on aggression. He'll take out one. Now all of a sudden into a 2v2. It's a KJ ult down as well for the defenders. So Yay still on the flank. And Nebula down, but Zachary's ready. He'll remove the head of Yay. He knows he's lurking around here somewhere. As they KJ ult will at least claim Baby Bay, and they will wait out for him to get his gun back. But now it's up to FNS to prevent overtime. We see a slow walk out towards Long here. Both the phase members playing this back to back here, making sure nothing is left up to chance. They're still gonna have to catch FNS as he's rapidly encroaching upon this push. Oh, oh no, he's oh. missed his chance. Zachary, the team's in the low twenties. So let's see how deep this series will truly go. Baby Bay immediately gonna get challenged at the door to Garage, but ready for it. Takes down the doppelganger jet on the other team there, and that's going to eliminate Yay. So far, no chance in any way, shape, or form of Envy to trade that loss out here. They were stuck here in mid. Now with no other positions to play from, they've got to take a step back and figure out how they want to work this. It's a great shit out for main. That's going to get caught by Baby Bay too. Oh, Baby J oh, even helping out here. A third for Baby Bay now as he oh. takes down Victor. And what's down? Maze, take the lead now after the first round of OT. I'm so very scared. Pretty heavily over here towards the A connector. And as well, Crashies will see the push. He sees the intel. He's going to call for the rotate of his teammates there. Doesn't know to what degree, of course, we're going to have the aggression working its way out. But it's enough to sound the alarms and bring as many oh people as possible. Regardless, though, it's not enough. Spike FNS, down, the only okay. one that trades, he does drop the spike, which is going to buy at least a couple seconds, seconds for the team to play off of. But the entries definitely go into the advantage of Fight phase planted. here as they equalize the overall count.
into a 3v3. That's of course having to deal with the turret and nearly still losing his life in that precarious little corner there. Only 14 HP left. No checking the big cubby. So Korra gets away with one, now two, as he actually got FNS before going down. Oh, no. It's all on to Marv here now. 1v2, he's got the operator in hand as well here. FaZe looking to shut it down and there you go. Super strong so far here from FaZe. Beautiful clear of U-Haul. Ended up buying his shorty on Corey so that you can dash forward and Baby Bay can play behind him with the classic. Even if he ends up going down, a right click from the classic will take down anyone that he has damaged. So they'll be able to hold on to U-Haul and they'll more than likely keep Corey inside of there with that shoddy until someone motions in. Baby J will get the initial frag, but now they have to be worried about the flank as well. But nobody home. And now Ye and Crashy's taking full control here. A beautiful ice wall from Ye will lock things up and make it to where they can possibly get the this diffuse a break of the wall now they know it's going to be a flood out and oh no that shorty gets the damage done but as we said before the classic has the damage but it doesn't have it for the rest of the members of envy beautiful ice wall there and oh this is gonna be close i got it oh, yay actually going to have a stinger this round as well to see oh. baby bay immediately oh! leaping forward but yay ready for the challenge he's got the barrier orb ready to throw down that'll immediately get chucked into the way so much utility inside of hookah there though so the orb will be the only thing that ends up going down as we'll immediately see the damage coming out from the breach to counteract that's not to mean there isn't anything at all here so much utility coming out specifically from baby j as more and more players jump into the portal it's leaning more and more into phase very used to baby bay will dash onto site it's a fault line and grew you all to clear things out but fns a beautiful Beautiful swing from heaven will take down one with a guardian. Full sight control now, but Baby J is going to lose the spike at the back of U Haul as Crashy starts to deal way too much damage. Forces FaZe out of their hole. Corey will fall, but Zachary with the refrag that was so desperately needed in the moment. But now it's down to a two versus three. Utility from Envy, in this case the Hunter's Fury, holding them back for those pivotal few seconds that were needed for them to try and secure a plant. At minimum, the current positions from Envy are passive enough to where they can move in, reclaim the spike. Envy or seemingly worried about Zachary having a forward position. He didn't have it until just a few seconds ago, but he's here now. Despite that awareness, however, Zachary going to be able to capitalize upon the push from Ye. Oh, oh, another one in a second turns around, catches the player on his backside, and Raucus comes in. You know, the Cosmic Divide out from phase already. Deployed there. Hope is then they fail to check the hard corner. Marv gets away with a double for free. Still gonna have fighting capability here, also, but finally now traded out by Corey. You still have other players such as in the cubby fending off the short push. Doesn't even account for the players that are stacked behind green boxes and truck as well. This is tough again for FaZe now that they failed to check this corner. Well, FaZe still trying to keep their hopes alive for the A site. Corey. Swinging out from Shower's left. door. He's got Ye to worry about on triple box. A U-Haul player existing as well. And FNS still rocking that bench position. Victor will get caught out on the plant box. Or at least the site box, excuse me. But either way, now phase down into an equal 3v3. But very minimal time now as Envy is waiting for them to push out. Crashy tries to go get the rifle, but it's ill-advised. They're going to lose a couple of members, but now it's a one versus one. Very minimal time. Ye's going to allow the spike to go off here. Very minimal HP as well. And then likely one to two bullets out of this Vandal will remove him from play. But it's map. This time it's going to be on Bind as he's pushing right in through Metal. Looking for the person inside of Spawn. Corey still trying to find something here as Lady Bay, he's made his way up into Heaven. He's going to get taken down from Marv who works the smoke magically up there. Rotating his way through and catching him off guard. But that's still going to be the post plant now for FaZe as Envy have to retake. And it's going to start off with, well, the wall, the Cosmic Divide coming up, and a fly-in from Victor. He'll be able to claim one, make it two now, as Rockus tries to refrag. He'll get two of his own. Shock darts out to try and prevent as Crashies is sticking it, and it's done. He'll be able to win it out for Envy, but not before Rockus is able to claim two more lives. It's all good. I only get like one good joke Wait ever, so it's perfectly fine and envy. Oh, FNS. He'll be able to at least get it through his own smoke, but now FaZe fighting back. They'll take down Marv, but now before Victor is able to trade it out, Crashy's trying to rotate off of B, but there is indeed a lurk waiting for him inside of Hookah. This could obviously also be FaZe working their way off of A, and it's looking to be the case as Breach and Sova both clamber through Market up through mid and try and get inside of Hookah. Corey tries to use the movement to his advantage, but Crashy's just way too damn accurate to try and combat that. Oh, very slow rifle now because of the fault line and doesn't have enough bullets to try and solve that.
that problem. Baby J swings out early to try and get some aggression to take down the MV members early and try and guarantee a spike. Pushing up, but now having to fend off against the actual push itself. This is oh. going to be the tougher part, but now the time has been wasted. He's bought the time for the rest of his teammates to rotate back in here. Not going to be much of a concern anymore. Baby Bay is just... uh floating out here and he's gonna be able to leverage himself a kill as well quite surprising in fact raucous also with no two way. now three and this goes into a 1v1 1v2 excuse me victor taking out raucous though still needs to find that final kill he'll get it however and we'll see envy pick up a 4k victor will pick up a 4 crashes just limiting what phase could do there playing out of his life and just being hard to kill Baby Bay now fully armed, this time with an op in hand, going to be able to immediately succeed by picking up an opening kill here. This is going to be the Sage going down, no wall denial available here for the Envy camp as a result of that. They do have other pieces of utility to use here, Crash is most notably going to be bringing out the Hunter's Fury, but only with a bit of damage connecting onto Baby J, no full kill. Corey has leaped forward in the meanwhile, and is taking full B-Site control, but just as quickly, Envy are going to swing out in their own regard. Now Rockets brings out his oh. own Hunter's Fury, can't secure any of these kills, Envy continue to take down members of phase one by one. Oh, well, making that quick little sound cue, but Marcus continuing to play to his own position here. Swings out, and the eco rounds, it's so very difficult to try and win those out. It's just those playmaking rounds that have not really worked out for them thus far. Oh, very close op shot. It almost takes the head off. Oh, no. But speaking of heads, Victor and Marv will lose theirs to Zachary, and that's going to be a free A site for phase. Huge change up to what's been playing up until this point. Baby Bay should have been able to line up that shot. It's going to be an uncharacteristic miss as he was so close. Oh, he hit him. Taking down, but he, yeah, he does hit him, just not for the full kill. Oh, he hit him there again. We go. <laughs> There's the correction coming in from Baby Bay as he quickly finishes off crashes after that shot from earlier. Now he's got the Blake Storm out as well here. FNS falters. This is the phase we were seeing up until the start of this map here now. It's all going to come down to just one player here. Yay. 1v5. Full HP on all those players as well. The right click actually misses here. So a more opportunity. Man, Yay is somehow still alive here. Had the rolling thunder coming his way. Blinds being thrown at him. You name it. And he's had it thrust towards him. And while he's certainly not going to be able to work his way out onto the site, the counter defuse itself, he at minimum here is going to be able to pick up quite a few kills. Giving us a show at the phase camp. camp. And the already at nine rounds as he'll start to take control of U-Haul. It's a very aggressive aggressive take for that matter. Baby Bay stacked up with Corey. Can Corey get the trade? No, it's Zachary to get it instead and crash. He's crashing in from the rear. He's going to take down both members, but not before Zachary can get the refrag. Victor's there though to make sure to seal the deal for Envy. And it's Raucous now to try and help them inside of this pistol. It's going to be the teleport towards B as well as a lurk here from Marv. Does well, Rockus is going to hear him motioning through and gets that knife out for the extra movement speed to try and get this frag here and make his life just a little bit easier, but I don't necessarily know when he'll be able to get it. He's definitely going to be able to get it on the far end, more than likely right around this angle, and yeah, he'll be able to at least see him there, and well, that makes it fairly straightforward, doesn't it? There's no oh, way, Rockets, that you go for this night. Don't let him walk out. No, he doesn't let him walk out. Recon out. No, somebody's on that far side. Shockbolt as well. Not able to deal any damage to Victor there, actually, surprisingly enough, and it's going to be Victor with the triple. This is going to force Envy back towards A. Catches him on a nice free fire spray there through the toxic cloud. Another one for one exchange here as Envy tries to re aggress one more time in through short A. It'll work, it'll get them access here. Will the Nebula survive long enough though? That's the question. Is Marv just trying to put it down onto the crown? Victor tries to stop it, but only Ellie ends up leaving himself exposed here. Crash is able to get one kill going for the team, but that is the only one so far. It will now be left alone of things. They still have a massive overall advantage on the scoreboard here, but. Really would have wanted to start this round out a little bit more prominently. I'm just losing to the player outright on a short push. A whole lot of nothing going on here as well for the past 20 to 30 seconds as well. The members of Envy try to look for some sort of mistake to come out from phase plan, but it hasn't shown itself. Phase are playing this perfectly right now. Baby Bay fends off the entire showers, but Baby J shuts down the rest of the short play, and it's a fun, and then they won't have that capability. Try and pause and recenter themselves again. They'll have to hope that FaZe would take one, but if FaZe continue to win, that's going to be incredibly unlikely. We can see the aggression from Corey, the oh! showstopper. It's a long range one as well, boosted by the scan from around the corner, but it's successful in taking out an incredibly pivotal player. Ye goes down with the res in hand, so no capability for Envy to bring either him or another player back into the fold now. 
And you have to feel for him there. The utility usage in Garden looks so solid. Nice. But FaZe continue to frag out. Corey with a beautiful shot into Hookah in the full sight control. Still in FaZe's area. And oh, Rockus with a triple. This amount of utility in their pockets. They only have Viper Wall down for right now. The smoke will go up. And oh, Marv winning out the engagement. Also ends up dodging the Hunter's Fury as well. Incredible stuff from him. This will start things off for envy but now baby j he's going fishing here inside of short as marved towards his right hand side very low hp zachary here to assist as well inside of cubby can he get the frag beautiful adjustment there aims high but now it's baby j yet again to take down one but do they know the location of zachary the recon goes far he'll get yet another that spike down but oh no he gets fragged out instead it's down to the 2v make it 2v3 instead of a 2v2 baby bay will pop stormblade the blades are on the flank coming in from raucous as well perfectly timed to pinch the Short play, Yay turns his back as well, so it's a free pickup for Baby Bay. Victor, the only one left here, he knows where they're both positioned, but here's the problem here now. He needs to get out into the open, and he can't even get started on it. Baby Bay is going down to block access to the defender's spawn route, as well as inside of the site. Here we go, there's the showstopper. Rolling Thunder coming out as well here, too. Two kills for Envy, but an immediate trade from Zachary. Keeps it palatable for FaZe at a 3v4, and Victor down at 2 HP. Left. Incredibly delicate also. Oh, no spike attempt just yet. Marv beginning to put it down. Rockus will break the ice wall, but he's just going to wait inside of Elbow for the rest of phase. Start getting towards Sight. Maybe they with some extremely solid positioning right now. He'll claim the life of Marv, who motions through Tube. Taking him down from Hookah's phase. Looking to win out this retake. Ube, scary situation for him right now. Victor on very low HP still, but he's actually gotten healed up a little bit. Was on 2 HP a while ago, but now on to 60. Back down to 2, but not before Envy can finally get around on Envy right now. Their money across the board was looking decently solid inside of that last round, so they could definitely get some buy still in here, but there was two that were very lackluster overall, and yeah, that's showing here. Marv not going to have enough money for this round. And However, there was a response coming in there. The aftershock from the breach not the initial plan attempt and wasted that bit of extra time nonetheless though and get it down onto the ground an extra delay bought a lot of rotate time for phase now they have those extra five to ten seconds to actually play against the viper's pit we're just waiting for this to pop off the fuse has already been lit we're into the post planet it's a five versus five baby bay will start us off by taking down marv but not before envy come back with a fury as they take down two of their own face have to win this retake to stay alive they're trying to get aggressive out of u-haul but they'll lose yet another member in this area victor will be there crashes takes down one and we are going to a Envy will now dive to the inside of the fish market or be main here as well though as a result of that utility and probably going to be the execute just a few seconds later here we've got the nebulas covering off both of the main entrances here Envy as well already in position on the site and yay fragging out here as he's been able to take down raucous Corey with his own response but Envy stay in control will they be able to keep it that way though into a 3v2 after the latest kills transpire Zachary and Baby J both stuck here outside of the defender spawn route now, trying to push their way back in. Zachary looking to assist, but he's lost his teammate. Now alone here, gets one more for his trouble, but the opening round. Job of working mid right now, that's usually the catalyst for a lot of takes when it comes to ascent. We see a lot of squads favoring to play through this area. They're going to flood in through tree. Corey will at least get one. Can he get one on the cross? No, we cannot. Steps forward. Marv punishes him instead. So that's going to be a rifle going the way of Envy. As they start to work their way out onto the A site. A swing from Rafters. Baby Bay with two. But finally, Yay will shut him down. But that just gives enough time for FaZe to slip a singular member onto A. But it looks like Crashies try and play out the late round here. And counter push from Zachary. Will he have the right read, though? That is the question. Zachary has a lot of time to play this out. Also, at least one more star to be brought in here. Zachary wanted to try and get tricky with the utility. More than likely, just going to bypass onto that. However, Crashies continues to wait. Coming, coming in just a moment, and it couldn't have been simpler for Crashies. Walks right past his own economy, and more than likely start to look towards an operator down the line. But now Envy out and onto the field again. Baby Bale take down F and Nas. Rock is out with the Owl drone. Believe him, he'll be able to at least tag one, and yes, indeed. He's going to be on the far side playing over towards now logs but phase doubling down on the push and baby j can he get the quad he's able to get three the wide step here doesn't know the man's working lane crashies able to at least get on to site but 
doesn't really have an opportunity here to try and put the spike down. This is more than likely his life lost in a matter of moments, and it is. Baby Bay with open. Victor now taking control of B main as well. Looking for anywhere to put this showstopper to possibly get a frag, but it won't be done. It'll be Ye instead, who flies over the top of Hut, but immediately gets taken down from the FaZe member. FaZe still on the bottom of the heat, but an opportunity here to win on this retake. And is slowly backing up. He knows there's some presence here from the defenders. And Akri going to try to give it away over towards at least the defender spawner out under the site here. And they continue to get tagged out by these darts. The recon bolt from the owl drone hitting him this time around. He's forced to back away. Shock darts hitting him as well. A little bit of damage connecting from the first one. Zachary just trying to set down a star for his own personal safety. This is not looking I'm like FaZe are really going to have much of an attempt to buy back in to actually try and retake this. They'll sit back. They want to save the guns here. That means Envy is going to continue to excel. They'll have their fifth round guaranteed. Unfortunately for FaZe, only one round going into their pocket. It'll be in reset time for them here. Economy woes will continue. And difficult roads ahead for FaZe. We'll have to see what they're able to get done. And Crash, he's being forced by his KJ first, though, here. A swing and a hit for Crashies as he'll take down Baby J. He's been the standout so far today, but Corey will finally battle back for FaZe. He takes down Victor, tries to go for Crashies, but the shot is just too dang clean, boy, as he'll take him down. Envy will clean up sight and begin the spike plant yet again here on B as they're making it their home, seemingly, on Ascent. Baby Bay will at least be Able to take down one on the entry. He's been so solid with the operator throughout the day, especially these aggressive plays, but Envy continue to fight back. FNS taking down yet another. Rock is with a wide swing. He'll be able to switch out for weapons as well as it goes down to the two versus two. Crashies with three. Baby Bay, the only remaining member of base. He's got the classic in hand, but he can't get it done. It's a quad for continuing to win out these engagements. It's so difficult for FaZe to try and shut him down. Showstopper out. It'll at least deal some semblance of damage i do believe cory gets lit up a very minimal amount and i believe this baby j or excuse me baby bay did not have a shield prior either way though see that damage bleed onto a couple of the members of envy here maybe bay continuing to wait for pressure to broil out through cat he's got the right cutoff for it needs to have the timing though and that's where he's going to miss under these circumstances Zachary will need to make up the difference, but even he can only get one for himself. Corey as well with the paint shells to hold back the rest of the main push. We do have Raucous bringing out the Hunter's Fury, and that's allowing for Corey to go off here. He's picked up three. Now we're going to see the Aldron work its way over the top. It's a call off for at least one of their players, but no, never mind. They've been brought back into the fold. They're fragging out right now, but unfortunately, into the hands of Faye. Oh, oh as Baby Bay and Raucous going to be able to combine for two here as well. And I, was, I wasn't more friendly than that <laughs> or whatever I said wrong there. So. <laughs> no, you were like, well, they're not immortal. They can't push onto site. And I said, oh, well, actually, okay. they're radiant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I rank. Let me be there. funny. Why, do, why, do, why, why don't you just let me be funny, man? Come on. Sometimes. Um, everyone's oh! I'm not funny, so it's really difficult. But yeah, he's going to move in here. A beautiful opener for the attacking team to try and negotiate something for themselves. Baby Bay falls to that, too. So yeah, winning the jet duel once again on the inside of round number 11 here. Envy. Continue to take more and more map control as a result of this. Currently shifting up over on the cat, and they're going to work their way forward. You can see the nebula is not perfect, so an opportunity Five for Corey to sneak not just one, but two responses. Oh! oh, and two more as well. Oh, the headshots the present th themselves. Number five. Oh. Changes. It's just all out what FaZe have been able to do. Corey trying to look for two inside of mid. The showstopper goes wide. He can't find one. And now Envy trying to work their way up tree. But not if Rockus has anything to say about it. But not before Crashes and Victor fire back as well. It's an absolute slugfest in between these two. It's down to the three versus two. Yay reads out Baby Bay. And now make it a clutch for Baby J. BJ now trying to work towards the 1v3. I'll be honest, a very winnable 1v3 here. Look at the health pools of both Ye and Crashy. He's going to be able to check this corner as he works oh. in. All oh, the bait works out. How does he check his flag? Because he's still the player out on Cat. I don't think he suspects it right now. All Ye has to do is walk in, and this is assured for him. But now he's out onto the site. It's no longer the free W on the walk in from oh. Ye. The second kill's been found. Does he suspect the flank? That's the last remaining question. He's going to jump onto the fuse. He's yet to check it. Where is Ye? And there we go. He moves in on Cat. Shuts down this round and secures it. But also a smoke down uh, towards the rafter side for A. As the nebula's here, and it's only Corey to try and stem the tide. Rock is with an off angle will claim one, but he doesn't have enough bullets to fight the other target. Marved be able to take him down. It's going to be a plant for FaZe on B. 
plant is down, but what kind of post plant do we have to look forward to here now for the phase members as they have an extra player to utilize on the inside of this situation? Just going to stick them into the back of Dark, though, and play everybody on the inside of this pit, looking to try and cover as many angles as possible, and should have been able to do that job quite well. Paul's going to go down into the Dark position to hopefully suss out anybody who might have been hiding in the middle. They find them, but Marv can't maintain. Ye instead has to come in for the trade assist here, and Ye is overwhelmed also, giving the opening pistol win of the second half here over to FNS. Somebody has got to check this. He gets one. Can he get the second? No, Rockus is still stuck on the camera, and that's going to be yet another one for him. Zachary goes down. Aston Crunch was able to take down quite a few phase members, and more than likely ill-advised. Instead, they're going to be going for A here as Baby Bay's out and onto the field yet again, but Marv will shut him down. He's been a thorn in the side of FaZe all day today and making his presence known, saying, hey, you might have dropped me, but I still have an opportunity to get something done here as he does fill in for Envy. He'll be able to at least get the plant down now for FaZe off of the entries. Very well done from then. It's down into the 3v3 going for the post plant. Victor will get taken out in rafters as he's extended wide out here to try and get an initial frag, but it's going to be the trades back and forth down into the 1v2 now for Ye. If there was a time for him to pop off, it would have to be now. Great hop to the generator. He'll take down one, but no, it's not enough bullets. Rockus has five HP. Oh no. That's what ease. Almost no resistance here from Envy. Uh -oh. We are going to have the Nebula blocking access towards the site itself, and this is going to lead into a very curious attack. Should work out, though, for the members of FaZe. You can see Envy was stacked all up on top of here, but they're thriving upon it. They've been given so much notice that this play is coming, and the follow from FaZe has been too slow. So they're going to be able to keep an even exchange going. A very nice showstopper coming out there from Corey, though. The minimum brings us back down to a 3v3, but FaZe is again on the site here. 20 seconds left. They've just lost another member up on top. Now they've been restricted to only the remaining. garden control that they took for themselves spike earlier down, and there goes the spike down on the ground baby j in some cases here it's not the play style they want to move into and it's costing them heavily here as yes they've got that little bit of mid control lurk that they've had this many many times before as well but now they need to get it out onto a site we're going to see their the attacker killjoy dealt with pretty easily due oh! to the hunter's fury and even better the third one comes out from crashes and finishes off baby bay from the damage that had already been done from that's a callback that now needs to be made here for phase they can't commit to the inside of this market push anymore they've got to fall back consider secondary options but again check out our mini map envy is getting aggressive envy knows that this is a possibility they're just going to shut this down before it can even get started well, 30 seconds we'll call left. back to what we said earlier. It's uh, pretty hard to use your utility when you're dead, and yay, going to make it difficult for Zachary to do so. Marv holding the angle in tree. He'll claim one, but Crashy's there for the counter angle, and that Odin will tear Baby J to pieces. Yay has an opportunity to take down Rockus, but Rockus on the delivering end instead, but not before Crashy's kills. It's been such an insane game for him. 26, 9, and 5 right now in an ACS of 329. What a map from Crashy's. Crash, he's definitely wanting to end things here and now, and he might see exactly what FaZe want to do with this control, and they'll initially take down Victor. That's a big pick here. FaZe not obviously it's having that back. same gift as they usually do, but it's immediately going to go by the wayside as Marv is able to refrag. It's down into the four versus four, and FaZe have no idea where any of these MV members have motioned towards Marv with one, Marv with four!